Hello. So, I've been watching some of my videos, and the last few haven't been very positive. And I said I want to talk about love and love living, and I don't seem very happy. The weird thing is, I am happy and I am love living. I think people don't realize what love is. And I think that's a really good topic for me to talk about. I want to do this vlog because I want to keep um, a journal of what I went through, through this time period, how I did it, etc. And for me, it's all about the thinking. And I've, I know I've been negative lately and I don't want to be negative. So, um, I... I want to change, I want to work on myself, and that's me, that's what I do, I work on myself, I literally, I, ha I have things that I think, okay, you need to work on this, and then I put it in my head, and I make a conscious effort to work on it consistently, and every single time I do it, I check myself, and I say, you made a mistake, go back, think of it a different way, fix it in your head, and don't do it again. If I do it again, I correct myself again until I start doing it, whatever I want to do. And at the moment, I want to stop being critical. And not critical as in what they teach you that critical thinking is. So they say critical thinking is having seen both sides. Yeah, I, I think that's called thinking. Thinking properly. Yeah, all right, I believe in thinking properly. Do I believe in being critical and that every every single subject is subjective? No. Do I believe there's no good and bad? No, I don't. I believe there's bad and I believe there's good and I believe we all know it. And it's just bullshit and a, a, a crap-ass excuse to be bad to say there is no bad. And it comes from disgusting people who try and intellectualize life into some kind of artificial intelligence and the reason why I call it artificial intelligence is because it has no love it has no feeling it's inhumane and I don't want to be one of those kinds of thinkers they're critical thinkers and they're dead they're like the living zombies. The apocalypse is upon us. When I look around, that's what I see. I see dead people. I see them. And they say the words. Like, they can sing the songs. Ooh, ah, ah. There's all this trilly shit, but there's no feeling behind it. It's hollow. That's why alternative stuff's taking off now, because we're sick and tired of it. Reality TV took off for a while because we wanted to see real, but then they turned that into just fake, 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 fake. What is love? Love is not fake. Love is real. That's what love is. Love is real. That's the first thing about love. The other thing that really annoys me the most, that I think is the biggest con, is that love is supposed to be nice. Since when? You can be loving and nice, and it's nice when people are loving, usually. Even if they're yelling at you because you deserve it, it's nice. I've got a friend one day and I said to her, you are a stupid girl. And she started crying and said, thank you. I really needed to hear that because it was true at that point with what I was saying. Nice is fake most of the time. That's not real and that's not love. I think that the problem in the world today is a lack of understanding of love because we have not evolved far enough. The Bible and holy books and all those books have tried to explain what love is, but we don't get it because 
processing robots have come along and tried to take every little word and instead of refining it down to the main point, they process it into tiny little bits that make no sense whatsoever. And then they use it for their own needs. That is not love. Love is not just a feeling. You can be angry, you can hate someone and still love them. Hate is not the opposite to love. No, it's not. Fear is not the opposite to love. Evil is the opposite to love and it doesn't exist. Love is everything. I wrote a poem, poem, it's really long, I'm going to stick it at the bottom of this, I'd like to read it, but it's long, but I might read it, I probably will actually, maybe I won't stick it at the bottom of this, it's called I Am Everything, and it is on my webpage, so if you want to see it, if you go to my webpage, which the link is always in the description, you can just look up where it's got words and notices and look up I am everything. But I'm going to read it one day and then maybe, I don't know, I might fly by my seat of pants type of girl. <sighs> I make word slips. I swear. I, years ago, Life was hard. And I said, life, what is going on? Seriously, what's going on? They say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. How strong do I need to be? And I got strong enough to be soft. And I worked really, 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 really hard. Because I worked out that weak is the opposite to weak. And strong. Well, I want to be strong. I don't want to be weak. But hard is the opposite to soft. And I was hard and strong. And I was hard because most people are cunts. And as much as I sound like a cunt and talk like a cunt, I'm not a cunt. I can be a cunt. But ultimately, I'm a truly loving person, which is pretty much why I'm a cunt. Doesn't make sense, but it does if you know what I'm talking about, if you know love. I'm not a cunt to everyone. I'm really nice. Most of the time. But anyway, yeah. So I'm going to work on being more loving. And I'm going to work on being more soft. Because I, I got really good at it. Well, better than I was for me. But then the last six years, when I got told I had 12 months to live, I thought, well, you don't just come to this earth for no reason. And I know I've got some special powers. So I decided to use them against the Illuminati. Um, not against the Illuminati, but just help some people that I knew that had issues with the Illuminati. So I did. It's worked out pretty well so far. It's been uh, tumultuous to say the least, but it's fun. And of course, I can't say much about it. I'd love to, but I can't. Because it wouldn't be a smart thing to do. But, um... Some people would say it wouldn't even be a smart thing to mention it, but I don't care. Because um, I'm terminally ill, and every day's a bonus for me. So, ha ha ha. And I've been living life like nobody's ever lived life. Well, I feel like it. I've been living my life to the fullest. I only do what I want to do. I literally love live. So, I only do what I love. And I do love arguing sometimes. Debating. I don't like arguing. I like debating. 
I don't like yelling or screaming, but I do do it sometimes. I try not to though because I don't love it. And if I don't, if I'm doing something that I don't love, I try and stop doing it and start doing something I love. And if it's something that I can't love, I won't do it. It's like selling your soul. And to me, that's all you've got is you honor, dignity, loyalty, respect for yourself. You don't have anything else. So I wouldn't sell any of those things for anything. And I love myself because of those things. So even for someone else's so-called love, which it wouldn't be love if they wanted me to, to defile any of those things, not for love or money. So it feels pretty good to be me. I don't have to jump around and laugh or be all joyful about it, but I do have moments of absolute pure joy sometimes just sitting here by myself. My whole face lights up and I just laugh and smile and feel all warm and gooey. And I do like the empty moments I keep with myself. Mm, it's nice. I hope you do. I hope you like being quiet by yourself and alone. Not all the time, because it's nice to be around people, I've realised that. For a while I thought I could just stay by myself and never ever be around anyone. But I am a pretty social person, so no. Mm. I like people. They're interesting. Fun to watch nice to interact with and when you can love someone and share love that's beautiful really beautiful and I've got a few really amazing people in my life that I can share true love with they know what love is and so do I and it's lots of things it's good it's always good it never lets you down Sometimes people that love you let you down, but if you really love each other, you talk it out. I've been doing that a lot lately with the people I love, and it's really, really good. My relationships are getting really good. I'm really happy with that. I've been working on it, and it, it's working. It's just the ones, that, the ones that put the work in with me. The ones that are just there to argue or compete, I just talk to them in their same language. And unless they back down, I'm not either. Because I'm not desperate for friends right now. And call it a test if you want. But when you get given 12 months to live, you realise what's important in life and what you'll put up with and what you won't. Because why put up with things you don't want to? I'd rather sit here by myself and play guitar. Seriously. Really. Honestly. I would than sit in a room full of boring people talking boring shit about crap they don't even care about themselves. Who cares? Or trying to have fun somewhere that's not fun. And there's nothing more lonely than being with a group of people and feeling alone. Because I've been there and not so much where I live. Where I live, you, there's always someone to talk to. It's cool. There's different people and people don't judge you, so you can just talk. And you don't feel like, ooh, I've got to worry about how I look or what I say or whatever. It's really good. I live in a cool town. But it is Nimbin. And not everyone can live here, unfortunately, but very fortunate for me. Um, and anyone that gets to live here, which it tests you, and I'm glad it does. And my living wish for today is that Nimbin always is protected and stays bohemian. See you, love you, bye.